Hello everyone, my name's Andy Lowe and I'm the Head of Business Development at Flexitricity. Welcome to Larport Farm in Herefordshire. We're here today with one of our energy partners, Enesco. Larport Farm is one of Enesco's lithium-ion battery sites and it contributes 19.5 megawatts towards our almost half a gigawatt virtual power plant. Flexitricity operates a portfolio which contains a number of front of the meter sites like this Enesco battery combined with well over 100 behind the meter sites which provide flexibility from a number of different sources. Our role is to aggregate this flexibility and to make it available in different services and markets to generate revenue for our energy partners. We offer access to a broad range of ancillary services and we trade the flexibility in the energy markets and directly with National Grid in the balancing mechanism. We do this from our control room in Edinburgh which is manned 24 hours per day, 7 days a week so we provide this market access round the clock. The key to successful asset optimization is being dynamic and agile in your approach. Gone are the days of fixed, secure revenue streams for flexibility providers. We're moving more and more towards a merchant model and a stack that includes income from a number of different sources. Being dynamic and having the ability to shift between these markets as the value moves between them is already important, but it's going to become increasingly critical in the future. So I'm Mike Ryan, Asset Management Director at Anesco, and Anesco is a renewable energy business. Anesco invests in both in front of the meter and behind the meter assets, solar, storage, and also heat pumps. So Anesco has always been a company that's desired to be the first in the things that we do. So we were the first to install and operate large scale utility storage in this country. We were the first to build and operate a subsidy free solar farm and we're looking to see what the next thing is that we're going to be first in. Anesco invests in battery storage because we truly believe that it's an essential aspect in delivering a carbon-free energy system of the future. We can install more and more renewables, but unless you have highly flexible, dynamic assets to back that up, we won't meet our carbon targets. The main benefits of battery storage are their highly dynamic characteristics. The fact that they are able to increase or decrease their output or increase or decrease their demand at almost the flick of a switch is incredibly important to enable volatile renewable sources to come onto the system. So for anybody thinking of investing in a battery storage system, I would have a couple of pieces of key advice. That's find partners that know what they're doing and have experience in doing it. Batteries are inherently more complex to both install, operate and um, manage in markets than something like solar. So you want to find both operators and builders who understand what they're doing and also route to market partners that will enable you to maximize your returns. So some of the biggest challenges in energy storage right now are this move from a, an industry that's been used to a subsidized environment to one that really has to stand on its own two feet. Now at UNESCO we've done that with our first subsidy free solar site and it's looking at how storage fits into that and how storage can really earn revenue and make good returns on its own merits. In day-to-day -day operations, the biggest challenges are working out where you place your asset. You can't leave it in one market and expect it to make a good return. You have to dynamically pick and choose where the asset is placed and where you're targeting your income from. It's that active management that makes batteries more challenging. So Inesco continues want to want to be seen as being the first in this industry. So we're looking at more larger battery storage projects. We're looking at developing more larger subsidy-free solar projects and continue to really lead the industry.